More happens during a day at sea than it ever does on land. Guaranteed. The dinghy's all stowed. The sun's going down and I gotta make up my mind as to where I'm going tomorrow. Could possibly be Wreck Beach, San Simeon. They've all been declared dangerous. That's not true. One's been declared dangerous. The other is a whole hell of a long ways away and for some reason I'm having a hard time putting together the guts to make a 70 mile run down the coast and want to break it up. Plus I'm drawn towards beauty and uh, Wreck Beach looks like a gorgeous beach to anchor at so I'm sticking with the plan. I'm going to check it out in the morning and I'll get there probably afternoon and if it doesn't look like a good anchorage on to an overnight trip to San Simeon for a nice anchorage at sunrise. I can do it. I'll figure it out. Tomorrow I'll be at sea way better than rolling around on a ball here in Stillwater Cove. Can't even eat my last taco. Rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling so bad. It's turning me into a crazy man. Lights, no lights. Ah, oh, is there a calm coming? Nope. Back out. Me and Nora were out in the dinghy in these conditions, and trust me, it's way better in the dinghy than it is in the boat. I can't wait to get underway in the morning. Ugh. Been at it since uh, sometime around midnight, and the sun that's not the sun, that's the moon. It was way up in the sky. We've been on a uh, starboard tack with just the jib up for since about midnight when we uh, ran into our mooring ball in Stillwater Cove. Ran into it and dropped it and got out of there. And now, I'm sure you can't see it, much of it, but it's a beautiful moonlit night. I'm exhausted. I drank too much wine thinking I was going to sleep good and then I didn't sleep good because it started rolling at Stillwater. So like a madman I woke up at uh, sometime after midnight to a full moon and decided to take off down the Pacific coastline and it's turned out pretty well so far. Celine is doing what she does best. Whoa we got broadsided. Hold on. I'll see you later. By wave. Don't worry. Just a wave. All right. So Lee's doing what she does best. She's taking the helm. I'm gonna get some rest. See you when the sun's up.
gets kicked all morning. Since the sun got up to there, from there, however long that is. No wind and big waves. Halyards that don't want to work. Booms that want to kill me. It's pretty here though. I'm changing the sport from sailing to surfing. Getting more headway with these waves than I am with uh, the wind. It's not looking good for making San Simeon before the sun goes down. I haven't seen wind all day. I'm awfully tired. Nor is too. Just ate my second peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm doing all right. I was pretty frustrated this morning. I got this little wave surfing floppy mainsail thing going on that's giving me a couple of knots. So maybe now I skip San Simeon and go straight for Morrow Bay tomorrow morning. We'll see where I'm at when the sun goes down tonight and. Uh, Decisions will be made. Too many waves to motor. Not enough wind to sail. Tired. Just plain miserable. Barely holding on to any desire to continue this journey right now. But I know I'll make it, so see you later. Too many waves to motor. Not enough wind to sail. Tired. Just plain miserable, barely holding on to any desire to continue this journey right now. But I know I'll make it, so see you later. I don't know if I can do this all the way to San Simeon. We're slowly drifting. No wind, just waves, rocking the boat back and forth. The jib at least keeps her steady. But, I'm drifting straight towards San Simeon, but there's a good 10 miles of land before San Simeon that I need to miss, so... I'm not sure how this is going to work out if I can't turn on the engine and hopefully tonight when the sun goes down the winds will pick up. That's kind of my only shot right now. Uh, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I've found such a peace getting to this point in my life that I no longer really uh, have the desire to, to travel and sail. I know Nora is not a sailor and that breaks my heart. I don't want to put her through something she doesn't want to do. She's been holding her pee for 36 hour stretches on end and that's not fair. So, but anyways, it's more than that. Nora is just a small part of the uh, overall emotion. She is attached to me after all. But I think I've kind of fulfilled what I was looking for. <laughs> a lot of it happened in the year, 14 months I spent driving around the country. Another portion of it happened in the year I spent fixing this boat up to go. And a whole heck of a lot of it's happened in the past 
I don't know, 36 hours at sea.